What's up guys and welcome back to another weekly reset video for Destiny. It is May 31st, so let's get right into this one. First up, make sure you pick up your Sterling Treasure Packages. There are three of them. One is from the Postmaster, just go and visit him. The second is from completing the level 41 Prison of Elders. And you can get the third by completing a match in the weekly Crucible playlist. So now we'll jump into the Nightfall Strike. This week we need to head to the Dreadnought and we're going to take on the Sunless Cell Strike. This is where you need to take out Alak Ghoul, the Dark Blade, but you get a chance at two strike specific pieces of loot, which is the Dark Blade Helmet for Titans, and there's also the Fusion Rifle. The modifiers for this strike are Airborne, where players deal more damage while in the air, Chaff, where player radar is disabled, Small Arms, where primary weapon damage is favored, and Berserk. Minions of the Darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. With the small arms modifier, you're definitely going to want to go in with either a hand cannon or a high powered scout rifle. This should make quick work of most of the enemies and do a lot of damage to a la cool. But make sure to keep your eyes open during the boss battle because with the radar disabled, all those thrall that come at you may pose a little bit of a problem. This week in the Court of Oryx, the tier 3 boss that you will be facing is Thalnok, the fanatic of Crota. This is also referred to as Baby Crota well, for the similarity that this tier 3 boss has with, with the final boss in Crota's end, Crota. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to take Thalnok down, follow the link being shown now. But make sure you take a trip here, take Thalnok down, and get your chance at a 335 artifact. And staying on the Dreadnought, Oryx Challenge is the challenge mode this week in the King's Fall Raid. So for this you need to make sure you take the shade down 4 times, and you can either detonate all 16 bombs at once, or do 8 and 8. And now for the weekly bounties. First we'll head to the Reef and visit Varix. We'll see what his three bounties are for the Prison of Elders. And now we'll head right over to Petrovenge and see what her three Taken bounties are for this week. Lastly, it's off to the Tower to visit Lord Shax and see what his weekly Crucible bounties are. And just a reminder, by completing all of his weekly Crucible bounties, it gives you a Nightfall tier reward. So this is yet another place where you can get up to a 335 light reward. And lastly this week we'll be taking a look at the challenge of the elders. The modifiers for this week are specialist where special weapon damage is favored, chaff where player radar is disabled, and then your bonus modifier is the super kill bonus where super kills are worth more points. So the best strategy I could give you here is choose a super that will give you kills but also will generate lots of orbs. The faster you can generate orbs, the quicker everyone else on your team can get your supers, and the quicker you'll accumulate the points you need to. This is very doable in just two rounds to get your cumulative 90,000 points. And that wraps this week up guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, hit that like button, and make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all these Destiny weekly updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.